Okay, I am going to attempt to show you guys how to do the sketch and wash. So I have my picture selected for me by um, Mr. Dennis, and he has given me this cute little sea lion. Um, like I said in your um, email that I sent home, black and white makes it easier, but it doesn't have to be in black and white. So if you have a color picture, that's fine. We're looking for values. Um, let's see, you're going to have a piece of paper um, from the Mr. Biggie pad of paper. I didn't name it, but it is rough on one side and real smooth on the other. And I prefer the rough side. Um, I don't think it really matters. I think it kind of is a preference. I usually tell the kids, um, my students, to use the rough side just because it gives you a little more texture. But um, if you just feel like the smooth side's going to work better for you or for your choice of animal, that is fine. Um, these are the sketch and wash pencils, so they look very similar to regular pencils. The only difference that you're going to see on these is there are three levels on there, and up near the end they say if they're light wash, and it's an HB, which means the color is going to go on really light, there's a medium wash, which is 4B, so it's going to go on a little darker. And then there's a dark wash, which is my favorite just because I like to draw really dark. Um, this is good for shadowing areas. This is an 8B. Um, make sure that you are using these pencils to put them on your paper because a regular paper, uh, pencil is not going to blend with any water, and I don't want you to even sketch it with a regular pencil first. Uh, before you add any water, there might be some leeway to use an eraser to make some um, adjustments. If you feel like you've made a little line that you don't want to be there, you can try to erase. Once you add the water, that's not going to be possible. Um, but please remember, there's no mistakes in art. I know when you've got a picture that you are just starting to do and something stands out because there's not much on the page, you think that it's going to ruin your picture. But by the time you fill in your whole page, you're not going to notice a little line. So I'm going to suggest to you guys that you start with your light wash pencil. That's going to be the lightest pencil. And like I asked you to do, I would like you to make sure um, that I think you've done your thumbnail sketches already. I want you to make sure that your animal's filling up the page. I don't want you to have this huge page with a little bit um, of a sea lion right here. Um, another thing you need to focus on is the background. This picture does not have much of a background. You do have an option. Let's say you really want to do an animal like this and the background is just water like this and you want to add something different. You can go ahead and you can pull another picture with a different background, but try to make it a background that your animal would be found in. So a sea lion would definitely be found in a kelp forest. So if you found some pictures with kelp or some rocks, you could definitely add them in. But I really, really, really want you guys to focus on drawing from what you see and not making anything up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sketch in the animal. So I'm going to try to get everything in the picture. Obviously it's not all going to fit so um, I mean in the video for you to see. So I'm going to set my picture to the side and I'm going to start sketching my animal and I'm going to again have them fill up the page. I'm going to go real light. I'm working on the back flippers. Oops, sorry. Comes up to the tail, starts to come around where the flipper, the main flipper comes out. And I've run off my page. That is fine. I would prefer that you run off your page than try to cram something on there. So I am going to continue. If this was going farther, it would go a little farther down and come up probably right about here. And the face is going to be maybe off the edge just a little bit. Come back with the head and back around with the body. So it's running off the edges a little bit and I am completely fine with that. I think it makes for a more interesting composition when it goes off the page than trying to cram everything in. Now if you can see over here there's another 
flipper that needs to come in, so I'm going to sketch that in. And if you have trouble figuring out how big to make things, you can always take your pencil and you can use it as a measure. So the fin that's sticking up is about that long. I could compare it to maybe the width of the head, uh, maybe the length of the body. And when I do that, it looks like it should be about the same. And it is pretty close, pretty close to the same. Maybe a little smaller, but you guys can use those kinds of tools. Oops, sorry. Okay, next thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to grab my dark wash. I'm going to go in for some shadows, and I'm going to start looking at this picture. And I'm going to look for the darkest spots that I see. There's some dark spots in here, here, around the eye, and I'm going to start putting those in. So the fins right here actually have a bit of separation. And I'm going to just color. Do you see how I'm letting the texture of the page come through? And wherever I see it a little darker, I can adjust that too, just depending on how hard I'm pressing. There's a little bit more over here. And I'll hold up the other picture next to it again in just a second doesn't have to be perfect. We are just starting on here. And then maybe a little bit in there. So if you look, you can see I'm starting to get just some of the darkness in there. Can you see how there is this area that kind of looks like a shape? I'm always looking for shapes. It kind of looks like a triangle. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put that triangle shape right in there. and lighten up a little. And then there's another one, it's not a triangle, it's maybe a little bit longer, but it is a little wavy. And then there's like a triangle coming in from the upside, uh, kind of upside down from the other one, and I'm gonna put that in. So I'm kind of just blocking out the shapes that I see to start to put these shadows in. I am gonna continue with this for a bit, and um, then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what comes next. Um, I do want to remind you real quick as you're doing this, look for the whitest parts that you see as well. If you notice, the lightest parts might be right around here, around the eye, a few areas like that, um, in the fin or any highlights you see on the animal. You're not going to be able to draw the highlights in. Let the paper be the white that you see in your animal. Okay, um, I'm going to continue this without you guys watching and being uh, bored as I'm going piece by piece, but this is how you start it. I'm going to come back and show you what my um, finished drawing looks like. When you start this drawing, I want you to keep in mind it should take you at least two full days of just drawing. You're not even going to touch any water yet. Two full days, two full class periods of just drawing. And some of you I know will move faster and that's where you'll look for um, defining your edges with value. Notice how there isn't a line anymore. We're starting to get value defining the edge. We're going to get rid of all those lines. Um, and you're also going to look for um, working on that background um, before we come in with any water, which I'll show you guys probably after the next video. Okay? Okay, you guys. Um, I'll be right back.